Andrew Lloyd Webber sought the assistance of a priest to expel poltergeists from his house. To get rid of a poltergeist, Andrew Lloyd Webber claimed to have once summoned a priest to his London residence. The celebrated songwriter, known for his successful West End productions of Phantom of the Opera, said that the ghost would stash play scripts away in an obscure room. He added that when a priest had made his way to his 19th century Belgravia residence, the eerie activities came to a halt. During an interview, Lord Lloyd Webber talked about the possibility of ghosts haunting any of his theaters. The 75-year-old claimed to have noticed some strange behavior at his house, but to have never seen a ghost. He said, I did have a house in Eaton Square which had a poltergeist. It would do things like take theater scripts and put them in a neat pile in some obscure room. In the end we had to get a priest to come and bless it, and it left. The Phantom of the Opera's famous score was composed by Lord Lloyd Webber, and it debuted on the West End in 1986. A deformed musical genius that haunts the Paris Opera House is referred to as the Phantom in both the production and the Gaston Leroux source novel. He wrote the music for several well-known musicals, such as Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Cats. In addition, it has been alleged that actor Sir Patrick Stewart saw a person on stage at the London Haymarket Theatre while sharing the stage with Sir Ian McKellen in their Waiting for Godot performance in 2009. He said, the spectre was wearing a belted Norfolk jacket. I think he had a shirt, a rather old-fashioned check shirt with a tie underneath. 